Preservation Service is a division of Special Collection and University Archives at UNCG University Libraries. We provide preservation and conservation treatment not only for the Special Collection but for other library collections under the system of UNCG, like government documents, interior architecture library, the Harold Schiffman Music Library, and the Teaching Resources Center. We follow a few steps before starting a conservation treatment for our special collection. And one of the first thing is to photograph the object or the item and describe its conditions on a treatment report. With this information in hand, we are able to decide the best procedures to perform with that item. And today I'm going to show a conservation treatment on a book from our cello music collection a donation we received in 2013 from George Darden, a pianist and conductor from the Metropolitan Opera House. The book cover, some preliminary photos, a detail of the inside, the spine, and the removal of the cover. The cover and the spine laminated with Japanese paper the orange end sheets and the Japanese paper properly toned. Now it's time to choose the cloth that will be sympathetic in color and texture to the original ones. And as you can see here, we have the cover and the spine. We now select the boards and this is a time that we need to pay pretty much attention to fine details like sanding the edge of the gray card that we use as a spine support and also we cannot forget to trim the corners of the board and the linings that we are going to use. After the text block was cleaned, it was lined with Japanese paper as well as linen, as you can see on this detail. For flexibility, we added a hollow. Bookbinding is all about details, and here you can see a detail of the spine shoulder and the board and the measurement of the distance between both of them to be applied to the cloth, the back of the cloth and the spine. Having the boards lined and glued to the cloth as well as the gray card, now it's time to work on the edges of the cloth and folding them. Again, detail is crucial at this point and while folding uh, the edges of the cloth we need to pay attention to the corns we are making. You can see here I'm finishing the cover and it's ready to have the text block attached to it. I am using a silicone bone folder, but I still have my bone bone folders that I use. You can see I'm shaping the corners and the cover is ready. Now it's time to check the alignment of the cover and the text block, making sure it's squared in the perfect position before finally gluing. When the text block is aligned, I will use a wave to hold it in place and pull the book to the edge of the table and glue the spine. There is no place for errors right now and so it's very important to check and see if all it's very well attach it and glue it. The bone folder is used again against the spine making sure the hollow is going to be attached to the gray card.
before pressing the book, a blotter and a remake is placed in between the boards and the text block, preventing humidity to go through it and any eventual glue that is not yet dry it. I like to leave it in the press for a few minutes until it's really dried and the groove is made. The press boards help it making the groove at front and at the back. I'm going to start gluing the spine linings on the cover that I prepared. This is going to make the book more secure and in place. After gluing the linen, it's time to place the infills making the cloth more even as a surface to receive the original end papers. I have here the paste down and the Japanese paper toned. I'm going to attach it right now with a mix of PVA and rice start paste. I try to precisely place it in the correct area and with the bone folder I softly and kindly press. After attaching both face downs I left the book during the night drying between blotters. The book itself is ready and now it's time to place the original cover on the top of the cover we prepared. Again, I'm going to use a mix of PVA and rice starch paste, distributing the glue evenly on the surface of the Japanese paper to place it on the top of the book cover. place the small dots on the top of the book so I could guide myself. The use of the bone folder at this point is very helpful to adhere the laminated original cover on the top of the book. We are now on the final steps of making the book and we are going to place it between blotters and leave it in a press so it will dry for a few hours. Here we have the finished book with the front cover and the front end sheet, the back end sheet and a detail.